you want to get 400% grenade, melee, and class ability regeneration just by shooting your teammates. Yes, you heard that right. Just by shooting your teammates and also getting tons of heavy and special ammo for you and your teammates as well. And if you like the sound of it, then this build is for you. So without further ado, let's get right into it. For the exotic helmet, be sure to put the airplane mask. Oh, I mean the Cenotaph mask. And here's what it does. It would reload a portion of your equipped trace rifle from reserves, and it would also work while it is stowed. And if you were to damage a vehicle, boss, or champion with a trace rifle, it would mark them as a target. When one of your teammates kills that marked target, it will drop special ammo for you, but it will drop heavy ammo for your teammates. And also, whenever you mark either a boss, champion, or vehicle, I don't know why you want to choose a vehicle, but if you would, a mark will last up to 10 seconds. And also, if you were to hit the mark target again, that mark duration will reset to 10 seconds again. And you can only be able to mark one target at a time, and the mark cannot be transferred to a different target, unless the duration runs out or if the enemy dies. So whenever we pick up special ammo bricks, we are going to be getting a lot of special ammo, so you guys are not going to have to worry about running out of special ammo. For the super ability, be sure to go for Well of Radiance because it would give you and your teammates restoration and radiant. This is one way to proc Ember of Benevolence. This is a fragment that we're going to be using for this build, which of course you guys already know gives us a ton of energy. On the class ability, go for Healing Rift because this is the second way to proc Ember of Benevolence. If one of your teammates were to go onto your Well of Radiance or your Healing Rift, it would also proc Ember of Benevolence. And I do think that if your teammate will go out of your Healing Rift or Well and go back in, it will refresh the buff. For the Solar Melee, go for Celestial Fire just because I want to get Radiant off of hitting targets. And this is the third way to proc Ember of Benevolence as well. For the Solar Grenade, be sure to go for Healing Grenade because this is another way to proc Ember of Benevolence as well. For the Aspects, be sure to go for Touch of Flame because it will enhance our grenade, so it would improve the strength of cure and restoration effects applied. And also, whenever you heal yourself, you are getting times 2 restoration, which improves the benefits and also makes you heal faster. And for the next aspect, go for Icarus Dash, just because you can just dodge in midair. And also, while airborne, whenever you rapidly defeat targets with your super or your weapon, it would grant cure to you. But in our case, the only way for you to proc this is by getting rapid kills with our rocket launcher. Now, onto the fragments. Of course, the main one you gotta put is Ember of Benevolence. Whenever you apply Restoration, Cure, or Radiant to allies, it would grant increased grenade, melee, and class ability regeneration for a short time, but you would get minus 10 discipline. So we are going to be proccing all of those buffs to our teammates, so we're not going to be having a problem with that. The second fragment is Ember of Torches. Powered melee attacks against combatants make you and your nearby allies radiant, but you would get minus 10 discipline. I just put this one because of another way to proc Ember of Benevolence. And also too, it will increase our damage, or should I say our weapon damage by 25%. And you're also going to be stunning anti-barrier champions when you have Radiant proc. And the only way to stun anti-barrier champions is with our trace rifle. The next solar fragment is Ember of Solace. Radiant and restoration effects applied to you have increased duration. And the duration for restoration is six seconds. And for Radiant, it is 12 seconds. And the final fragment I put is Ember of Singeing. Your class ability recharges faster whenever you scorch targets. So in this case, we can only be able to scorch targets with either our trace rifle most likely and with our heavy weapon as well. Because of the seasonal artifact mods, because of kindling trigger, radiant causes solar weapons to apply scorch to unscorched combatants. So whenever we become radiant with our solar melee ability, our goal is to hit targets as much as possible with our trace rifle to make them scorch, in which case we'll proc this fragment. And this fragment will give us 300% increased regeneration for our class ability. And also, again, when they get into the rift, we are getting an additional 400% ability regen. So that's a whopping 700 ability regen for our class ability. And now let's head to the weapons. For the main exotic weapon you're going to want to use to get infinite amounts of ability regeneration, be sure to put Lumina. This is in the kinetic weapon slot, and here's what it does. The perk is called Blessing of the Sky. Using a noble round on an ally heals them and grants both you and them a weapon damage bonus for a short duration. So again, when we get Blessing of the Sky, the damage buff for our teammates and ourselves will be a whopping 35% increased weapon damage. That is the most highest amount of a damage buff we can possibly get in Destiny 2. So as soon as we shoot our teammates, it would proc Ember 
number of benevolence because we are healing them. So whenever you get kills with this weapon, it will leave behind a remnant. Absorbing a remnant converts your next hip fire shot into an ally seeking noble round and partially refills the magazine. If you do have the catalyst, here's what it does. It would gain two remnants per final blow instead of one. So the more kills you get, the more ammo is going to be refilled and the more ability regeneration you're going to be getting and also a damage buff too. And again, this is a hand cannon so we can be able to stun unstoppable champions because of the seasonal artifact mod. Now let's head to the energy weapon. I am using the solar trace rifle just because of the exotic helmet we're using. The perks that I do recommend going for on the third column go for reconstruction. This weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double capacity. So for me, the magazine that I could be able to hold is 104. And if we times that by two, it would be 208. The next perk, be sure to go for incandescent. Defeating a target spreads scorch to those near by. More powerful combatants and opposing guardians cause Scorch in a larger radius. And again, for this Trace Rifle, you are going to be stunning anti-barrier champions because we are getting Radiant from this and also our melee ability and also our Well of Radiance as well. For the Power Weapon, I chose to put this Rocket Launcher called Apex Predator just because I want to be able to stun Overload champs. And for the perks you should be going for are Reconstruction. So instead of holding one in the mag, you're now going to be holding two. And the next perk, go for Bait and Switch. Deal damage with all equipped weapons within a short time to give this weapon a damage boost and that damage boost is 30 percent so for lumina it is 35 and for the apex predator it is 30 so you would have 65 percent increased damage but if you're one of those people that do not want to use a rocket launcher you can also use a linear fusion rifle called the cataclysmic and for the perks on this one i do recommend going for is fourth times the charm rapidly landing precision hits will return two rounds to the magazine increases time between precision shots and the next perk could go for bait and switch and also too, if you are playing Onslaught, in which case I am in the gameplay, and you are dealing with a Tormentor, you can use the Cataclysmic, because that is pretty good when dealing with Tormentors. But for me, I'm using the Apex Predator. And here's what I was using for the Seasonal Artifact Mods. The main one I do want to mention is on the fourth column called Revitalizing Blast. Causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions and bosses for a short duration. And the only way for us to practice perk is with our solar melee ability or Well of Radiance. Yes, you can do that if you were to hit them with your sword. Now let's head to the stats. I do recommend going for resilience because of the damage reduction as always for PvE and your second stat go for recovery because we are on warlock so it would reduce the cooldown of our class ability and it would increase the spread at which you regain lost health. And here are the armor mods that I was using for this build. On the warlock bond I am using special finisher. Finishers generate special ammo for the whole team but it would consume three stacks of your armor charges. So we are ready are giving our teammates heavy ammo, I might as well put this one to give them special ammo as well. And also for the gauntlets, I am using these mods that are basically like if I were to melee hit a target, it would reduce my grenade and class ability. So here's how to use this build. Your main goal is to get kills with your hand cannon to get those remnants. And as soon as you do that, be sure to heal your teammates with your healing grenade and your rift. Then afterwards, melee a target with your melee ability. And also once you do that, you can use your hand cannon to heal your teammates. If you guys would like to try out the build for yourself, the dim link will be in the description. If you guys found this video informative or you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button and also subscribe. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, evening or afternoon. Take care and peace. Join the discord!